Okay, so here's my Experimental Airlines inspired uh, biplane. 90% finished, of course I still gotta add the landing gear, which uh, we'll start with that. I got the landing gear, it's like $3.99 from the local hobby shop, just a little uh, trike landing gear setup. Gonna put eighth inch uh, rod through here, some uh, very light uh, wheels from the hobby shop again. Eighth inch uh, plywood from your local uh, Joanne fabric or something like that. Gorilla glued that on these wings, which the wings are the airfoil design. Uh, they're, the flaps are ready to go, the ailerons rather, are ready to go. I just have them glued here for stability for right now. I'm going to cut right here to make individual, individual ailerons. I have a flap in the front for battery access. It also will allow me to have uh, the battery uh, set up properly for CG. I actually used the remainder, let's see if we can get that in there so you can see, the remainder of the uh, eighth inch plywood as a firewall and a motor mount setup. I got a motor mount from uh, one of my other planes, extra piece, but you can get this again from a hobby shop. Set this, uh, this uh, small 1400 kV motor up on it, should be good, and tapered the nose to kind of give it that whole biplane feel. The cow look, it kind of gives it a cow look. I uh, have struts made out of two pieces of foam board glued together. Everything is just basically hot glue or gorilla glue. Three struts, one for each wing and evidently one for the fuselage here for the center of that. We have another hatch back here to allow for all your electronics. This is a battery tray up in here to where I could use my 11.12630C uh, battery, 2650, sorry, milliamp. I'm, set, I'm, made, I'm making a uh, servo tray to sit right here, in which, if you could see that, I took a business card, rolled it up, wrapped it in yellow duct tape, and stuck it through the side using the uh, hot hanger method. Basically, you heat up a hot hanger, and it goes right through the, uh, the foam. Hot glued that in place. So when I have the servos in there, the wire will come out the side here, connect directly to this, so it's out this servo and horn have complete access to, run, to move freely without interrupting the ailerons. And as you can see, the ailerons are split, but what I did was, if you can see that, there's a metal connector that I got from the hobby shop also. Everything's really, really cheap, like a dollar, two dollars. And I just hot glued that so now that when one aileron, one elevator moves, so does the other ele elevator. And then I V'd that out so the, uh, the um, rudder, I'm sorry, has plenty of room to move both ways. Got to add a skid down here because evidently that's going to drag. Got to add the wheels and all the electronics. But so far, the CG is pretty good. With the battery, of course, it'll be, and with the door, everything will be pretty good. But, hoping it flies, I'm going to have that video next. And, of course, I have to close those off, but I want to do that after I install the, uh, the servos, which I just got today. So, i got to reverse one, install those later, but uh, it's about 35 and a half ounces. Could be a little bit lighter, but I use duct tape. I, I couldn't find any yellow packing tape. Uh, and that is the Duck D-U-C-K brand from Home Depot. But it worked out just the same. And I did taper the, uh, the rear stabilizer. And everything is just high glue or uh, Gorilla Glue. And it works out perfect. So stay tuned for the next videos.